Ann Davison is one of two challenging Pete Holmes for Seattle City Attorney. Can we get you to a place where you can get clean? She requested we meet her at this homeless encampment in South Seattle where she was cleaning up trash and doing outreach. Hey man, we checking on you? During a walk around the encampment, we see a man shooting up heroin. Davison, currently an attorney and arbitrator, sees drug addiction as one of the root causes of a lot of the misdemeanor crimes that end up in the city attorney's office. People in recovery who say, I wish someone had cared enough to stop me earlier. When you say stop, are you saying jail? Sometimes, and I also uh, consult with a psychiatrist who works with people with substance use disorder. And when people are entrenched in antisocial behavior, sometimes the only thing they will be responsive to is that hard line. And when if someone is in custody, we need medicalized treatment for them there. And then we need to have a place where they go on the exit. That is the key part. So you're saying that there needs to be tougher prosecution in some cases? There needs to be smarter prosecution, absolutely. Because what we have sometimes is over litigating or, or over prosecuting maybe people of color, but we have under prosecuting where there's people that are coming back and back and showing that they are resistant to alternatives. To me, it doesn't make sense to keep doing it. From one viewpoint to another. My point is like we we are prosecuting people and it's not working. Nicole Thomas Kennedy, once a public defender, is now vying for the prosecutor role. If prison made us safer, we would be like the safest, but we're not. I would like to abolish um, most of the criminal legal system, but it is a process. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. She wants to gradually defund Seattle police by more than 50% and not prosecute misdemeanors. I would be using prosecution as an absolute last resort. Right now it's a one size fits all. What do you say to those people who are the victim of a crime and you say you're not going to hold the person that harmed them accountable? So abolition does not mean that there's no accountability. Abolition is recognizes that the system we have right now is not working and works to build new systems of accountability. Thomas Kennedy wants the city to partner with many more community organizations. If it's something where there's interpersonal violence or um, a lot of recidivism, obviously that's something that needs to be addressed. And I would like to refer it out to the appropriate community group that deals specifically with that population. As Thomas Kennedy looks to the future, we asked about her past, specifically this tweet from August of 2020. Property destruction is a moral imperative. You tweeted this oh, yeah. in August 2020. What do you mean by that? It was a joke. That's a joke. It's a joke? Yes, it's a joke. So um, what I was referencing was there is, there are people being murdered constantly, but people uh, are focused on someone that's breaking a window or writing with chalk on something like that. Um, and the argument constantly is, is sure, people are being murdered, but let's focus on property destruction. These two are sharply different, but one thing they agree on is that the city of Seattle needs a fresh start. What does that mean? A fresh start. You know, the question is um, a fresh start with complete inexperience just to see what happens. You know, that's uh, neither of these candidates have uh, really any appreciable, not just for a city attorney, but legal experience. And this office is too critical. As for criticism by Davison that he is under prosecuting, she has values that I don't believe reflect mainstream Seattle values. And what is that? What is mainstream a Seattle lot, values? A, a mainstream values are just what I said, smart on crime, not tough on crime. That seems to be the mantra, right? Smart on crime means going at the underlying causes and trying to address why is this person uh, committing this crime? Is it a crime of survival or is it, is it something uh, that needs to be prosecuted the traditional jail time is the consequence, and we do both. Right now, his office is facing some major hurdles, a backlog of 3,000 cases due to the pandemic and a growing avalanche of lawsuits against the city stemming from CHOP. With 12 years of experience, Holmes says he is the most qualified to rise to those challenges and hopes voters will give him four more years. To have the pendulum sw swing wildly either way is I, I think begging for uh, a lot of uh, a, a lot of disruption at a time when Seattle can least afford it. 16 years. I mean, Hannah, I'm I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I might cry. This is not working. I mean, it is not working. 
Look at the despair in our city. Look at it, we have people leaving. Yeah, it, it, our crime is out of control. People don't feel safe. The reputation of Seattle is, oh, we just look away. Oh, it's just Seattle. That should not be the case anymore. We need to center victims, whether that's a business or an individual. In Seattle, Hannah Kim, Q13 News.